वेलकम टू लोकसत्ता यशस्वी भव इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द पेपर पैटर्न ऑफ जोमेट्री टोटल मार्क्स फॉर दिस पेपर आर 60 एंड टोटल टाइम लिमिट फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन इज टू एंड हाफ आवर देर आर सम इम्पॉर्टंट इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस पेपर यू शुड ऑब्जर्व दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन थरली बिफोर सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन पेपर All questions are compulsory and draw the figures wherever necessary. Marks of construction should be distinct; they should not be rubbed off. Do not use calculator. Figure is necessary for the proof of theorems. Now let us start with question number one. If sine square theta is equal to 0.75. what is the value of cos square theta students we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so substituting the value of sin square theta 0.75 plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so cos square theta is equal to 1 minus 0.75 is equal to 0.25 this is the required value o is the center of the circle ab is the diameter P is any point on the circle other than A and B. What is measure of angle APB? Now we know that diameter subtends a right angle to a point on the circle. So after drawing angle APB, we get measure angle APB is equal to 90. Next question: What is the equation of a line parallel to the y-axis and passing through point? 2.3 now line is parallel to y axis so the equation is x is equal to 2 now let us go for question number 2 in the figure triangle abc is given and de is parallel to bc now lengths of ad is 4 db is 5 ae is 6 and we have to find out the length of ac now let us go for the solution in triangle abc de parallel to bc so by basic proportionality theorem we get ad upon db is equal to ae upon ec now substituting the values we get 4 upon 5 is equal to 6 upon ec so value of ec is 7.5 so we have to find out length of ac so ac is equal to ae plus ec so ae is 6 AC is seven point five. After adding it, we get AC is equal to thirteen point five. In next question, in the figure, chord BC and chord ED intersect in point A externally. BC is ten, AC is six, ED is four. So we have to find out the length of AE. Now by external division of two chords, we get AC. Into AB is equal to AD into AE. Substituting the values, we get six into sixteen is equal to four into AE. So AE is equal to twenty-four. Value of AE is twenty-four units. Let us go for next example. Find the angle subtended by an arc of length six point five meter if the radius of the circle is five point five meter. now the formula for length of arc is equal to theta upon 360 into 2 pi r substituting the given values length of arc is 6.0 for you theta we have to find out upon 360 into 2 into 22 upon 7 that is the value of pi and radius 5.5 so theta is equal to 6.0 for you into 360 into 7 divided by 2 into 22 into 5.5 and after solving this we get 63 so measure of angle theta is 63 degrees now let us go for question number 3 in question number 3 you have to solve any four sub questions and mark for each sub question is 3 first one the curved surface area of the first term of a cone is 180 cm square and the circumference of its circular bases are 18 cm and 6 cm respectively find the slant height of the first term of the cone so circumference of a circular base 
is given by 2 pi r1. So, 2 pi r1 is 18 centimeter, therefore, pi r1 is equal to 9 centimeter. Also, 2 pi r2 is equal to 6 centimeter, therefore, pi r2 is equal to 3 centimeter. After adding these two, pi in bracket r1 plus r2 is equal to 12 centimeter. Now, formula is curved surface area of the first term of a cone is equal to pi in bracket r1 plus r2 bracket complete into L. So, 180 is equal to 12 into L. Therefore, L is equal to 15 centimeter. So, slant height of the first term is 15 centimeter. Let us go for next question in which find the equation of the line passing through points minus 3 comma minus 5 and parallel to x minus 2 y minus 7 is equal to 0. So, slopes of parallel lines are equal. So, x minus 2 y minus 7 is equal to 0. So, slope of this line is minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of y that is minus 1 upon minus 2 is equal to half. So, slope of the parallel line is also half. Now, line passes through the points minus 3 comma minus 5. So, equation of that line will be y minus y1 is equal to m in bracket x minus x1. After substituting the value, we get y minus minus 5 is equal to 1 half in bracket x minus minus 3. So, after simplifying, we get x minus 2y minus 7 is equal to 0. Let us go for the third example in which we have to prove that square root of 1 minus cos a upon 1 plus cos a is equal to cos a k minus cot a. In such type of examples, always we have to solve left hand side. So, left hand side is equal to under root of 1 minus cos a upon 1 plus cos a. In next step, 1 minus cos a upon 1 plus cos a, we will multiply numerator and denominator by the bracket 1 minus cos a. And after solving this, we get 1 minus cos a bracket square upon 1 minus cos square a in under root. So, after removing the root sign, we get 1 minus cos a and 1 minus cos square a is sin square a whose square root is sin a. Now, splitting the terms 1 upon sin a minus cos a upon sin a in next step we get cos a k minus cot a that is what we have to prove because that is right hand side. Now, student hereafter we will go for question number 4 and question number 5.